challenge, you know, and everybody thought that it was going to be a short night for me in the ring, and, uh, you know, I knew otherwise. I found out that I could definitely go in there for 15 minutes and, and work constantly and, and, you know, get taken down later on, you know, in a fight when I'm supposed to be tired and, and get up, you know, and still persevere after that. So it was, it was a very strong success for me. But the African assassin's athletic roots began to flourish at an early age. Moving from Zimbabwe to a Botswanian boarding school, he and his fellow students took to the track in any free moment they had. Now it's an all boys boarding school, like nothing but guys everywhere. It was very sports orientated, you know what I mean? If right after class, you know, you'd go back after lunch and you'd go play a sport, whether it's rugby, bike and field or whatever. So I, I became very immersed in sports at a high level uh, right there and then. I ended up uh, getting myself a uh, track and academic scholarship to Livingstone College in Salisbury, North Carolina. I guess the sense of adventure kind of... Rumo's journey would bring him to the great fighting city of Edmonton. And it would be here that his competitive yearnings would call into Muay Thai and eventually ignite a fire for mixed martial arts. I didn't know anybody here, and uh, I wanted to stay in shape. My uncle introduced me to a couple of friends of his who did uh, martial arts. While I was doing that, uh, the guy who was teaching me that goes, you know, you look like you'd be really good at Muay Thai, would you give it a try? And I didn't know what it was, you know. The, the most I knew about Muay Thai was having a large blood sport with Van Damme, you know, and I was like, Muay Thai, what? You know, it looks dumb, you know. But whatever, I'll give it a try, and, you know, after I tried it, I was, I was hooked. Very hard to fight to Muay Thai fights. That's when MMA came into play. Here we are at uh, fight number number nine, you know, getting ready to go again. And uh, that left my record six and two, three knockouts, one submission, two decisions. I'm in this sport to to try and be the best at it. I want to go as far as the journey takes me. If it leads me to be the best in the world, then so be it, you know. But if if, if uh, I'm not going to stop trying until I get to the end of the world. I don't got nothing on you, man. Kill this boy. Coming up. I just needed a new look.